quantum money it was actually a much older idea. It goes all the way back to a physicist named Stephen Wiesner in the late 1960s. One of the basic facts in quantum mechanics is called the no cloning theorem. It says that there is no physical procedure to reliably copy an unknown quantum state. Intuitively, the reason for that is like, if I give you a quantum state, like you can make a measurement of it, but measurement in quantum mechanics is a destructive operation. It forces your qubit to decide, does it want to be a zero or a one, right? And it chooses an answer probabilistically, but then whichever answer it chooses, it then sticks with that, right? And all the remaining information about what the amplitudes were is then gone. What Wiesner realized in the late 60s was that you could exploit that fact to make physically unclonable cash. But his scheme had one major drawback, which was that the only way to verify the cash as authentic would be to bring it back to the bank that had minted it. It could measure the qubits in the appropriate way to check that this really is good money. But if you have to bring the bill back to the bank to verify it, you haven't really cut out the middleman. If your real goal is to have currency that requires no third party, we haven't quite gotten there.